weren't going to do it that way. <laughs> I didn't either. That's the way you went. Well, I was... <laughs> I didn't want that real boat end on the end out here. Because this... That was the boat in there. I'd rather be in the middle. But now, we can see what we got to do. See? All right, that's what we've got accomplished so far. That's what Gary maybe cut all these uh, things for. But this was the idea with the recycled floor joists. Uh, best way to make it work. And don't be breaking my trees. It's over there breaking my trees. You know, in the movie The Burbs, when Tom Hanks goes out and pees in the, against a tree and it falls over, he's like, we have weak trees. <laughs> we don't have any of that. But, as you can see, this is exactly what we wanted. And yes, we're putting blocks underneath these beams, and I'm going to be putting the hurricane straps once we square it all up, and angle brackets and everything, uh, attaching this to the beams. So nothing will be able to shift or move or get blown away. But that's it. That's our two by eight recycled floor joist, 16 inches on center. Now I can insulate. And what I bought was just the regular R13 insulation. And I'm going to run that through these because it's going to create like a vapor barrier and then I'm going to buy the rock, rock saw rock saw insulation I think that's what it's called that I'll go from underneath and put up and use the uh, uh, some wire to hold it all in place some chicken wire or something and uh, that's waterproof and flame proof and soundproof and rodent proof 
no bugs will want to come up in there. And then that whole cavity will be full of insulation. So that's where we are now, CODA approved. It's, as long as it's CODA approved, we're all right. He passed it. Go check my neighbor because he didn't do anything up to code, buddy. <laughs> you know, go find him. Inspector <laughs> but now we're going to get on the insulation and drag up the plywood and put it down, and that'll be it for the day. Uh, I bought some windows, so and I got to lay out my walls, and we're going to come out maybe one night next week and throw up a couple walls. Uh, we'll have to see how busy we are at work and how much money I have. But yeah, if I can get the eyeball shot. Look at how flat that is. Hey guys. Well, this is where we're leaving it today. I'm telling you, with just me and Gary out here working, it's very tough to videotape anything because we just want to get stuff done. And, uh, you know, you can't be moving the cameras and adjusting them and checking batteries and all this kind of crap. So, I'll show you what we did. We have all the joists down. We have the insulation in. And we have the subfloor down, everything's square and level. Tomorrow we're coming out here, Gail's gonna mow, and I will finish screwing. I got to uh, screw down the rest of the plywood. But we got her done. That was today's agenda, what I wanted to accomplish today. And uh, thanks to Gary, we got it done. Now I got to go home and lay out my walls so I could, oh, I'm tired, it's hot today in the sun, uh, but I need to, you know, lay out where the windows are going so I can do all that framing on the floor when we're framing the walls instead of trying to cut it in like I had to do that shed when we bought it. Uh, I can just frame it all one time. But that's it. Just wanted to show you the progress we made. And next weekend, we should have walls framed in. Uh, I still have to deal with the roof. I mean, I don't know what... I don't know roofing, so I'm going to have to do some research or find somebody, you know, that can help me out on that uh, but next week I should have walls up I like to get roof trusses on so I can get stuff sheathed and at least papered in uh, the goal is still to have it all dried in by July 4th uh, by dried in I mean the roof sheathing on and the tar paper down, the paper on it, and the sheathing on the house, the cab sheathing on the cabin, and at least the house wrap around it, uh, and the windows and the door. That'll be dried in to where it can be used July 4th. So that's still the goal. Uh, and I don't think I'll have too much of a problem making it. That's a month away. But we'll see. Oh, man, I'm tired. Uh, but, again, used plywood. That was headed to the dump. And now it's the subfloor in my cabin. It ain't pretty, and it's not perfect in size. Uh, but it's serves the purpose beyond my expectations considering it was free so no complaints here and again I gotta thank Gary for his help his help out here but we're done for the day that is all I'm out